Hey, Phil Billy, I appreciate you coming over and eating breakfast with us this morning. We hadn't uh, we hadn't had a chance to sit and talk with you in a while. So, what what's been going on with you? I've been spending time working with Mama doing the magic dragon bone tea for the spineless dragon, but you know we're kind of in a slump right now because Mama wanted to market that dragon tea as a beauty product, and anybody that looks at Mama's ugly face can tell it just don't work for her. So. I'm kind of hoping you guys got a little something that I can do being this the breeding season again. Actually, you're in luck. Because as we've been going around doing shows, people keep asking about you. They want to know, where's Phil Billy? How come he hasn't been in any of your videos? So what we've decided is that we're filming a video today on how to keep snakes off your property or out of your yard. And uh, we were thinking that this would probably be a perfect video for you to star in. <laughs> See, that's what I'm talking about. See, you got some smart viewers on this channel because they recognize my star and my greatness. I'm glad they wanted old Bill Billy back because boy, I tell you what, you just tell me what you want me to do, I'll be the star in your new video. It'd be the most viewed, best specialist video that you done ever had on your channel and you just point the camera at me and I'll make a smart man out of you. So guys, in this video, we want to uh, talk to you a little bit about how to keep snakes off of your property or how to make your property unwelcoming and uninviting to snakes. We want to welcome back our buddy Phil Billy here who will be starred in this video. And uh, he is going to show you some of the things that you can do to keep snakes at bay in your yard. So guys, when it comes to having snakes on your property, that is something that a lot of people fear. People are afraid that I don't want snakes in my yard, I'm scared of snakes, and we're gonna give you some simple things to do and some simple things not to do. Now, first of all, when it comes to things not to do to keep snakes off your property, you don't wanna waste your money on many of the gimmick products that are sold in hardware stores across America. The simple fact of the matter is those products are a complete waste of money. Most of those products use sulfur as an ingredient to deter snakes. The fact of the matter is sulfur is not a deterrent for snakes and it's a complete waste of money. You're, uh, you're, you're just throwing money down the drain by buying and using those products. You would be much better off to use some simple common sense things like we're going to talk about in the video. Also something else you don't ever want to use is mothballs. Now it is a commonly believed but false folk tale that mothballs will deter snakes. That is absolutely not true. Also, mothballs are dangerous to your pets and even to children. Scattering those around the property can cause a lot of damage to other animals as well. So you want to be careful not to do that. Something else that people like to use to keep snakes or to catch snakes that are on their property are these little glue pad things like this. Now, we don't recommend these little glue boards whatsoever. The reason being is because they trap a lot of other native wildlife and they can cause them to die very slow and agonizing death, struggling to get off of the glue. Also, as reptile breeders, we get a lot of phone calls, believe it or not. People want to buy king snakes from us and they want to release them on their property. Now, the idea is that king snakes eat other snakes, and therefore, if they purchase a bunch of king snakes and turn them loose on their property, they're going to act like guard dogs in a sense, uh, keeping other snakes off their property. The fact of the matter is, even if you bought, let's say, 50 king snakes from us, turn them loose on your property, your chances of having just one or two of those snakes that would remain on your property is pretty much slim to none. Uh, Second of all, most of the snakes that you buy would probably fall victim to cats, hawks, owls, things like that. So it's a very poor investment. Besides that fact, releasing non-native wildlife into the wild, even if you release it on your own property, is illegal in most states. And so doing so would find yourself potentially facing a fine or jail time from your local fish and wildlife. We're going to go outside here in a minute and we're going to show you some simple common sense things that you can do 
to keep your your property relatively snake free. So one of the first and probably one of the most important ways to keep snakes out of your yard is actually just to keep your grass mowed. Because when you have tall grass, that's when snakes want to crawl around because they're hidden. Whenever predators are up top looking for them, like hawks and birds, they can't see them when the, when the grass is tall. So if you want snakes out of your yard, keep your grass mowed. So we're going to get the star of this film, our lovable Phil Billy, to demonstrate for you how to keep your grass cut down low enough that snakes can't hide on your property. Well, ain't no snakes gonna be hiding out in that grass no more. Now, the one thing about snakes that you need to consider is the fact that snakes are a secretive animal and they like to function in secrecy. That means don't give them places on your property where they can hide, like old pieces of plywood laying flat on the ground, old pieces of sheet metal or roofing tin. Those are perfect places for snakes to hide. It gives them a place that uh, they can kind of hang out and wait for mice and rats. Also, mice like to build nests under pieces of plywood and under old pieces of tin, and so that will attract snakes to your property like nothing else. So we're gonna allow our star of this video, Phil Billy, to demonstrate picking up those types of things to clean up your property and make it less inviting for snakes. Let me get started. Okay guys, so another way to keep snakes out of your yard is actually just to keep rodents out of your yard. And one way you can attract rodents is actually by feeding your pets, such as your dogs and your cats, outside. When rats smell this, they're going to come up here and they're going to want to eat it, just like rat food. And that's going to attract a lot of your snakes, even up on your porch near your house, which is even worse. So if you can, feed your dogs and cats inside the house and that should help a lot with keeping snakes out of your yard. So one of the other things that you can do to keep snakes off your property is to keep your shrubs trimmed up. Now these uh, azalea bushes over here behind me, they are low to the ground. That provides again a place for snakes to live, to move, to function in secrecy. What you want to do is keep those lower limbs trimmed up high. That way you can see clearly underneath your azalea bushes and your shrubbery and that way it will get not give snakes a place that they can hide out. So Tell you something right now. I think the only damn reason why y'all wanted me in your stupid video, so I come over here this morning and do all your yard work. Well, he's not as stupid as he looks. I'm the one out here doing all the damn work, keeping the snakes out of your yard. Well, y'all two sitting up here drinking sweet tea. Feel me like no. I mean, we wanted to give you an opportunity to come back and star in our video, but well, I, I hate that you feel that way. But how would you keep snakes out of your yard? See, I don't have to worry about keeping snakes out of my yard because I ain't like a bunch of sissies that are scared of snakes. Because if a snake strikes me, I just dodge out of the way because I'm fast enough to catch a snake in mid-strike. <laughs> yeah, I bet you could also catch a flying arrow too, huh? As a matter of fact, Missy, I can catch an arrow. Look, I know you guys shoot bow and arrows in your little archery tournaments and everything, but I guarantee you I'll snatch an arrow right out of the air, shove it right up, you know. Matter of fact... I bet you your brand new hat and two days worth of yard work that I can catch an error in mid-flight. Phil Billy, you're gonna mess around and get shot by a bow and arrow. I'm getting me a new hat. I'm getting me a new hat. <laughs> you mean you want me to mow all of this with a push mower? Hey, you're the one that lost the daggum bet. That's what you get for betting against Phil Billy Tubbillard. Now get that mower and get her done.
So if y'all like this here video, you know what y'all need to do. Hit that subscribe button right down there below. Give it a thumbs up, and we'll see y'all in the next video.